In the wake of the tragic shooting in Orlando, we spoke with the local Muslim community who says they're also mourning the lives that were lost this weekend. 50 people lost life. 53 other people who were wounded, injured, and uh, even now we don't know how many of them will survive. Saeed Khan has lived in Gainesville over 30 years. He's married with three beautiful grandchildren and he's also a member of the Hoda Islamic Center. This is not an act of the Muslim. During Monday's vigil, Saeed spoke out after hearing the shooter identified himself as a Muslim. This is not condoned by Quran or the Prophet or in general any other Muslim. In fact, it was the LGBT community that stood with Saeed years ago when a local pastor named Terry Jones was trying to burn the Quran. Like so many others, the president of the Hoda Islamic Center says he was shocked and saddened over the shooting in Orlando. All were so horrified at the fact that killing one person is horrible. Going and killing in a rampage like that, that person cannot be human. He says Islam is a peaceful religion. The Hoda Center even runs a small free clinic to help low-income families. And it's functioning for years now, and it will continue to function with expansion, free medicine, free testing arrangements with the hospitals and with the testing labs. Other young Muslim students are giving back to their community through a local nonprofit called Project Downtown. We serve hot meals every Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. to the underserved community. And typically we have home, it's the homeless population that we serve. And while events like this and rhetoric they from political leaders women. can generate and attacks against gay. Muslims around the country, Saeed Khan says he's not going to live in fear. Careful, yes. Cautious, yes. Go and vote, yes. <laughs> I will suggest that every person should go and vote their conscience. And Muslims here in Gainesville say their doors are always open for people wanting to learn more about their peaceful religion. Reporting in Gainesville, Alicia Khan, CBS4 News.